Hey, 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 everyone. This is Wendy Susan Richmond, and welcome back to the Undercover Marketing Secrets Podcast. Okay, everybody. So today we're going to talk about never be afraid to step out and make an offer to help someone. And <laughs> the reason why I'm talking about this today is, uh, you know, it was a little bit scary. It was a scary day. Uh, I was in the office with one of my clients and, you know, things are going really well for them. And because of this, I thought it would be a good time to talk with them about something I was doing outside of my marketing for their practice. Now, here's the backstory. Uh, I work uh, in this uh, dental office one day a week and because they like having me there and more seems to get done when I am actually on site. Now before I was just doing remote marketing for them and coming in to their uh, practice or their office uh, once a month. Now at the beginning of December I decided that I didn't want to work in their office anymore. I mean I really just ultimately want to work remotely so I told them that I would only be able to work uh, on a remote basis. And you know this being said they were now kind of scrambling and on the hunt for a marketing coordinator you know I'm the marketing director and then they were looking for a marketing coordinator to do the minor yet very important marketing tasks and I was uh, that I was doing during my weekly on-site visits right so I as a the director for this practice I do all kinds of things. Strategy is one, but also making sure that things get done is another. And they were, you know, having a challenge trying to find this person with these skills. And uh, it's really amazing. In, in today's day, it's still very challenging to get someone with the right kind of uh, skill set and work ethic and, you know, all that to be able to help them. So as a favor, I said that I would continue to come into the office once a week to keep things going. So I did that for two months. And today uh, was the last day of this uh, of the time that I said I would help them in their office, actually on site. So, okay. So if, if you've been reading my blogs uh, in the past or in uh, listening to my podcast in the past, past you'll see that uh, that I purchased a underutilized website called NaturalJersey.com, and this site is a perfect fit for this office. And I've been working on a strategic partner program that would uh, tremendously help them acquire more new patients and I was afraid at first to let them know about my purchase and uh, you know what if they were mad that I did this what if they wanted to fire me because I did this what if what if what if I mean I had a whole bunch of what ifs in my head you know finally uh, I just uh, bit the bullet and let the owner know and to my surprise, she was very happy for me. She even congratulated me, which actually took me aback. I mean, I was like not expecting that. You know, then I told her what assets the site had and what I was planning on doing with it. And I let her know that she was the first to be let in on my strategic partner program. So I wanted her to know, I mean, it really was true that um, I hadn't told anybody else specifically what it was. And uh, I let her know first because I wanted her to have first refusal. And plus, you know, I, I am very loyal to, uh, to my clients. So I know that I needed to make an irresistible offer for her because it's, uh, you know, she's a very savvy businesswoman and she asked a lot of questions. And I knew she was having a challenge finding a marketing coordinator, right? And I know how much money she's spending on marketing. And I know what, uh, you know, uh, what she's getting from each kind of marketing and things like that. And then, plus, I know what I'm capable of doing for them, and based on what I've done over the last few years. Now, ultimately, I wanted a way to make it a win-win and ultimately win for uh, the patients and uh, the people who are who are. Uh, just the community in general. So I expressed how much time it took to get to her office because I drive about an hour each way to get there and how much other work I was starting to take on with new clients, which is very true. And I let her know about these things. But I did this so she would see that now was the time to say yes. And this is what I, it's what is known as scarcity because if she didn't say yes, then you know what? Uh, there was no 
telling what was going to actually happen as far as me helping them anymore. And I told her that if she went uh, for my offer of adding her as a strategic partner with me in naturaljersey.com, that I would stay on and keep coming to the office once a week, which is ultimately what she wanted to have happen. Because more things get done and things are on a real good upswing now and so you know uh, I was trying to make it a no-brainer decision and I finally blurted out the monthly investment and she did the math and you know and she said told me what the <laughs> what the annual amount would be and she said uh, you better make this work and I told her that I would make it work and if uh, you know as long as she's doing this I would keep coming to the office as long as we're strategic partners and if for some reason it didn't work, well, that I uh, would still come to the office to help them out. And, you know, so this is what is called a guarantee. So I was trying to, again, make it a no-brainer for her to say yes. And I was truly, uh, you know, it was truly an offer she couldn't refuse. Now, then, to my surprise, she was coming up with various ways to let other people, both practitioners and consumers, know about the site. So many opportunities are coming out from one conversation. You know, I'm going to be able to put a, uh, a link and a description in their newsletter that goes out to several thousand people. And I'm going to uh, get to put my cards in their card uh, what they have like a card file place where their their patients can can find different things that are related to uh, holistic world and natural world. So I get to do that. Um, getting to go and speak at the you know at the, this special group that they're part of, and you know and talk about this and ultimately offer the strategic partner program to them as well. So you know so many things have come out from you know this one conversation and the fact that I actually just stepped up made my offer and just whatever was going to be it was going to be and i am now even more excited to make this work it's it's even inspired me more because i see that you know this can really happen and all because i stepped out of my comfort zone and i let the word out about how i could help them get what they ultimately want so I'm feeling truly blessed right now, and I just want to, if you're listening to this, just to, you know, hopefully inspire you that no matter what, make sure that you, you know, don't be afraid. Uh, you know, being afraid can limit so much of your success, and and you got to step out there. You got to let people know. You got to talk. You got to, you know, tell your stories. You got to, you know, what is your, what are your views, and how are you helping people? And I'm telling you, the world will change because of it. Your world will change because of it. All right, everybody. This is Wendy Susan Richmond. Thank you very much for spending a few minutes with me. I do hope it was helpful. And uh, remember, make it a great day. You have a choice of how you make your days, so make it a great day. And I look forward to talking with you next time.